Hey guys, welcome back. Hey, uh, end of yesterday, we got a lot done. As you remember, we uh, tore the sheet metal off, grill, fenders, and our focus was these, this bumper, what's left of it. And you can see I had to death weld it off in pieces. This is where the, these were up there welded around the frame, that front part with the hole, uh, with these right here. And then I had to cut, let's see, that's the center section. And then that went there-ish. You get the picture. And uh, it was really bad, it was super cobbed. You can see right there. I had to just pick a spot and start cutting. And it was double on the bottom. You can still see some of the rust. And welded here. And then over here, and then right there and down, and two big plates underneath. It was just, but it's looking pretty good, you know, considering I did that back in 97 and uh, redid this just a year or two ago. And that's that piece from that press at work. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it was in the scotch pile to be fair. So, and then, like I say, that's done. So now we can get the grill on and off. I've got to clean all this up. And this is solid, believe it or not. But, you can see this. This is not. This is the good side. And uh, there's not much rot left in this. There's some back here i got to take care of when I do the quarter panel. But up here is all good, what we're focusing on. And so, this rocker. You can see it's just ultra toast. Totally rusty, so we're cutting the whole thing off. I hope the inner is good. It looks it, but we'll see. And uh, I'm getting all my sheet metal from Nick the Dynacorn dude, Dynacorn. And he's right here in Utah, and we've got a whole pile of stuff. I don't really want to show you yet. Surprise you piece by piece. And uh, so that's what we're going to work on today is cleaning the cow up and starting to straighten stuff up, get the straight edges out, see how square the hood is to the body, and then, because you don't want to square up bad, or fenders to a crooked hood, but that hood's coming off too, so we got a brand new one. So, yeah, it looks a little better in the light. I did that first video and wasn't happy with it, so. Yeah, that's looking good, guys. That's what we'll do now, and I'm debating, like I say, that front piece, if I want to paint that green, then have the inner black, because I really like that contrast. And then, like I say, I've got new valve covers coming. Intake, carb, headers. And uh, I've been saving for this since 97, bit by bit. So, it's finally good to get something moving again. So anyways, and then I want to do a correction on the first video. I called that a Dana 60. It is not a Dana 60. My bad, totally. It's a Dana 44. And I got lucky because they did the mid-year change in 71. So I lucked out on that. Then it's got the new process 435 four-speed. So that works sweet. The advanced adapter in it, backing it up. So you can see the sides are a little rough. Got to work on those door gaps and the body line. I want to get that straight. And then we'll go from there. So yeah, I'm going to start doing the sheet metal now. We'll get that out and let you know how it goes. Piece by piece, we'll get it on. And i got to get the door shut and correct. And i got a lot to do. But, as you can say, it's not too bad of a slate. And uh, like I say, bit by bit. So, yeah, here we go on this part. And we'll see how we can get it to fit. I think I'll start on driver's side. And then work over to this side and then do the grill. But first we'll check the hood to see where that lives. And uh right on. So anyways, this is the end of the first part for today. And uh if you guys like this man, like and subscribe. See if we want to do more of these, because I've got two more other cars we gotta have done before I uh pass from Disoif. <laughs> so not getting younger, so I just want to get these done while I'm able. And like I say, I pay a heavy price. I'll be sick for a week after this. So I'm not looking forward to it. But anyways, guys, hey, like and subscribe. And uh, this is the end of the part one for today. Thanks, guys.